Welcome to Staten Academy. I'm going to tell you today how to log in to your Gmail. So first of all, when you're issued a new laptop for the school, the login is going to be set up to be the same as your school Gmail account. That way you don't need to try to remember two different login numbers. When you go to the Yakima School District homepage, one of the first things that you are going to see is this homepage. And from there, you're going to want to click on resources. After you click on resources, you'll see a drop down menu and you want to go to student resources, which is just below it. By the way, there's many ways that you can get to this. I'm showing you the way that you can um, most likely remember because it's an easy pathway. Once you get there, go to G Suite. Now the G Suite will take you to student email, docs, sheets, slides, everything to do with that, as well as some other things that I will show you in just a minute. So you're first going to need to sign in. The way that your username is set up is it is your last last name plus the last five digits of your ID followed by at ysd7.org. So the example that's shown on the screen is if a student's last name is Gonzalez Gomez and their ID number is 1234567, their Google username would be gomez34567 at ysd7.org. And that goes right in there. Next, it's going to ask you for a password and the password will go right there. The high school Google accounts have not been reset to the default password. So the information that I'm about to share applies to new students. If you have a um, password that you used throughout the summer or that you used last spring, that is the correct one. If you need to change your password, you should be able to click on the forgot password as long as you know your ysd7.org account number. So for new students, it is going to be capital H, lowercase s, exclamation point, followed by the last five digits of your student ID. It will then prompt you to change your password. The new password has to include the following, three of the following, a capital, a lowercase, a number, and a symbol. And it does have to be at least eight characters long, and it cannot be any part of your name or your student ID number. Then you will see you will come to high school links. All of these are available. You can go directly to the Google, app, Google Apps link, which is the first one over there. But if you click on high school links, it's going to take you into everything that you possibly could need. So particularly right now, we're talking about Gmail, but all of the rest of these are available to you as well. So I hope you understand now how easy it is to get to your Gmail. Thank you.